How about fight fire with fire? Hey, there's a claim. That's a great logo. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Todd McFarlane presents Still Waiting. Still waiting for that movie. So this is <laughs> Sp Todd McFarlane Spawn the video game. It is its official title, if you can believe it. I am Matt Mimuscles, and I am filled with juices and necroplasm. And I can't wait to show them to you. <laughs> So, yeah, with Spawn the movie in the news, but not in the news because there is no news, Todd McFarlane is going on a world, like a whirlwind world tour of there's no new info, you know? And the last time we did that was with uh, Spawn Armageddon. I played that on this channel then, so might as well keep up tradition. So oh, won't someone please think of them? You think they would have tried looking for them after the 10th or 12th? Cyan. Yeah, that's New Donk City. That's yeah, thirteenth child abducted. These these are pretty decent for all thing all things considered. Spawn, you want to stop that or? Okay, there you go. Uh, I've tracked the children this far, and the trail ends here. Where are they? Where are the children? Is that how you spell children? I can't give you the word in a sentence. <laughs> oh, I don't want you. Yeah, okay, yeah, give me a sentence. <laughs> you don't have to have it. Yeah, I want the sentence. <laughs> Big. All oh, right, no, it is. It is correct, actually. Uh, that that guy's name is just Thug. Kids, what kids, man? I don't even know the kids. Are. There's a new face, and he's keeping everybody out of that warehouse. Don't go into that warehouse. Level one warehouse. I'm assuming. Look at this. Now, the the thing with this game is that it's super stupid hard, for the most part. It has some, some obscure mechanics, but look, look, look at the joy that one can have by watching this. Amazing, but you have light kicks, light punches, hard punches, hard kicks. There's all these moves that are hidden, I, I believe. There's some good animations here, so... Oh, that one's pretty good, too. They have slide. That will be very useful. Uh, yeah, you just saw it. This never-ending lemmings parade of these dudes. You have this uppercut. That's by holding block and then pressing up and punch. Where is it? There! Psychic punch! And you can throw fireballs too. There they are. And there's like other shit. Uh. Whoa! That's like Mega Man X4 stuff that we're dealing with. And they all, of course, take different spawn power juice out of the spawn meter, which is again, talked about it before. It's one of the greatest things that has ever been done in fiction. Your, your hero has a power level, but therein lies the problem your hero has a power level that's constantly going down every time he uses his powers but then they just stopped making that like a comic book thing i don't know what's happening with spawn anymore so if you're coming at me with new spawn lore uh, i sure i will defer to you uh, i do think they they spawn recently like started a new era in the comics that's all i really ow 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 i, I gotta rely on the slide it's super good. Yeah, that that the comics have kind of not relaunched or rebooted. It's just like new creative team and setting a new um, storyline uh, going forward. So continuing the last stuff that the last Spawn comic I read, which admittedly was like, oh, ow. Uh, Spawn's very embarrassed. If the other denizens of hell saw him getting like fucking wrecked by a mafioso who's just shooting his gun at a wall. Yeah, the last Spawn comic I read was terrible. It was just him uh, going into hell and and just defeating Malbogia, and it was just I don't remember a lot of it. I read a couple years ago, and I was like, this is this is bad. But I think people let me know when I did talk about this last time. People let me know. It's like you started just when it got bad again. <laughs> it was good before that, where it was just like spooky tales, and Spawn was kind of in it. I do like how they're committing to the uh, search. Ah! I was just pressing buttons. Was that like a screen clear? I don't know how I did that. I just held block and I pressed something. The problem I remember when I rented this game as a kid is that it, was, it frustrated me because I just wanted a spawn beat em up. I wanted something like the uh, Wildcats game, which I played uh, a while back. Which, to my recollection, is like, get, don't get me wrong, all spawn moves, great. 
keep all of that. But if someone would go into Mugen and like make, like remake this, make like a traditional spawn beat em up, all those great like Brazilian fan modders that have been making games, there's, there's a lot of them uh, that have really been pumping up that scene with some excellent stuff. Like, I would love that. A, they take the sprites and artwork from here, mix it with some other stuff. Oh, there's. I'm going to kill you and then kill you again. No, no context for overt kill being here. Just, he's just here. Oh, Bon, I love it. Oh, I have to abuse this kick. That's that's one thing I kind of remember is that this kick is is kind of OD. And everyone has these like wake up animations, and you can see you can see the animation frame where he's just getting to his knees. It's like you can't hit him during that, and you have a lot of iframes on the fireball too. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, spaghetti! Oh. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, overkill away! Explain to me in the comments again, Generation West, somebody, why is he called Overt Kill? Why isn't it just an overkill? I think I've asked this every time I've played a spawn game, and I'll, I'll keep asking it. Until it sinks in. Oh, there's no need to fight over it. It's obviously my creation, but you fellas were a great help. And You might be looking at this, some, some of you might be saying, oh, this is a spawn beat em up. It's not. Do you know how I know? If the enemies go down in one hit, it's not a beat em up. It is not. You have to beat them up with multiple punches. They don't have their own life bars. Uh, you can only move on, on one 2D plane. These are kind of the hallmarks. It sucks though, because all these moves would be great in, in a, a, a traditional beat em up style. I can dash. I can attack off it. Everything is here. And there's some ambiance with the with the raindrops keep falling on Spawn's head. And and he really wishes he wasn't dead. And then there's there's enemies, there's different types that are doing shit. There's the ones that we've seen with the uh, oops. Ah. Uh, there's ones that we've seen with the pipes and certainly the ones with guns. It did do a little bit of research cuz I've always been like, yeah, this Acclaim, Konami, Sony, I, I kind of forget who published it. Didn't really matter. Acclaim, okay, wait, hold on, I'll put the pin in that thought. I'm sorry my men weren't so good. It's so hard to find good help these days. This is nice, uh, small talk. Back off, overkill. I'm here to rescue the children. I don't have time for this. Walk away and uh, I'll leave you in one piece. Maybe. I can't do that, hero. I've been commissioned by some guy. <laughs> Named Angel to keep everybody out of that warehouse. And if I got to turn you into paste, well, hell, that's just a fringe benefit. All right, so we're just going to do what I was doing before. Whoa, there it is. Good stuff. I was trying to do the fireball, but that came out instead, so I don't even know. Rocket punch. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm fucking turning his his cybernetic ass out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should really find a new line of work. It's not the greatest. Um, then you could say upon killing. Hello? Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is what Spawn do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta troll him. You gotta troll him a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I looked up the developer of this. It's a Japanese, uh, company. And I went down a rabbit hole. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that for free. Ooh. Uh. So this developer, this is one of their earlier games, but they previously made to this Sky Blazer on the on the snes which i really liked when i played it in my big super nintendo video a few months back and i never played that either and that was shit. so yeah sky blazer uh i really really enjoyed and i went down further and saw that this team then started working with snk on like sam show kof uh do it the mad do what the man paid us for. Bring him down. The man is trying to stop Spawn from rescuing the children. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, this is going less well. Although if he's getting punched by a thug or getting shot by high velocity weaponry, Spawn just has one single way to express this. Oh. But even crazier than that, I think Todd McFarlane and, and good old Terry Fitzgerald 
Fitzgerald. They, I think they hired an American to help kind of, uh, you know, guide the development team. You know, like, have an English speaker that maybe they could go through. Maybe this guy could speak uh, Japanese as well. I don't know about that. But but Mark, Mark Gillian, Dave Gillen, uh, name like that. You look up that guy who looked like he produced or, or wrote the story on this game with that Japanese development team. He would then go on to uh, different Sony studios, like I believe 989 and Incognito, and is credited as the designer and director of Twisted Metal. Like the first two Twisted Metals. And a bunch of other shit. Like he directed War of the Monsters on the PS2. I was like, what is this game, Spawn? On the SNES, why did it have a bunch of crossroads with with tons of really talented developers? And playing it now, right now, I'm not... It's, it's no great thing. It's fine. Until we get to the first, uh, second boss, I think. But I, I was just flabbergasted. And no, I don't think there's enough here to make a what happen. Unless I can speak to that guy and he can tell me some stuff. Maybe there's something behind the scenes we don't know. Like, how come this is only on the Super Nintendo? That Spawn would be, you know, uh, would find a great home on the Genesis. Lots of great superheroes on the Genesis. So a little strange, like pretty much every superhero game got re released on both. You know, the Hulk game, Phantom 2049. Wildcats didn't though. So maybe it's an Image Comics thing. The children just sleeping on the job as usual. Like a little Spawny. Spawn is like Gamera, he's the defender of children. Redeemer, great. There's nowhere to hide, Spawn. The flesh of the innocent will provide no sanctuary for the likes of you. No, no, this couldn't be worse timing. There's something wrong with Cyan. The children. I have to. They're really putting Spawn over as a baby face. All you must do is die. I don't care about these children. I'll simply destroy them to get to you. Yep, that's our heavenly crusader from heaven. <laughs> Here we go, here's the fucking shit. You guys might have seen the AVGN episode on this. This is like one of the worst boss fights I've ever seen. One of the hardest, most unfair bosses ever to be shat into a Super Nintendo cartridge. So it seems okay at first. I'm taking some hits. We're just, we're just learning it. I don't know why it's like a, like a auto scroller. He replenishes all of his health. Did you see that, right? He did that and now he just shoots this laser that I can't do much about. I can't block it, I take tons of damage, I die. <sighs> Fortunately, the thing with spawn is that I believe it has infinite continues and it usually puts you at the start of a room. So I'm, I'm gonna say it's fair in that way. But in terms of figuring out this boss, I can't shoot them back. That big spell barely d And I'm not even sure if there's really a point to hurting Redeemer here, because he just replenishes his health again. Automatically, he's got Gil Resurrection. Listen, I know we probably need to jump or something. I'll do that next round. Yeah, that's rough. But you know what they say, you gotta dust yourself off and try again, try again. Wicka, wicka, wicka. How about fight fire with fire? It's probably a really precise pattern, which I'm not gonna learn anytime soon. Like, there's way more moves in this game than the PlayStation 1 game, Spawn the Eternal. And honestly, of all the Spawn games, this is probably way better than uh, Spawn the Eternal. Not better than Armageddon, though. Armageddon, you know, pretty decent. It's got flaws for sure. I'm sure this is something that if I look up the exact uh, process processes for defeating Redeemer, I could probably do it. And I, and I will. I will. You know, you, you can never give up. That's Spawn's motto. Unless, unless. So Redeemer is beaten. Never mind the, any suspicious cuts you may have seen. He is, he is dead. Okay. Oh, oh, it's one of, okay. What the, oh my God. Oh, what, what is even this building? It must be like a supermax prison. It has to be, right? What are the, you know, they, they put the anti-pigeon spikes? Anything here? No? Ooh. Like, this is something that Dr. Wiley would, would have designed. Forget it. I'm out. 
I'm out. All right, just enemies. Ooh, mini overt kills. Hope Cygor is in this game. Is Cygor in this game? Let me know in the comments. What are some other uh, spawn villains we could get in here? So we've already seen overkill. It's pretty standard. Redeemer, pretty standard. Um, 95, maybe Angela. Uh, Angela, uh, Grave, Grave Digger, Grave Robber. What's his name? Guy in the green. Uh, Billy Kincaid, possibly. Malbogia, obviously, has to be in here somewhere. I'm taking so much damage, I know, folks. But, like, look at look at the, the, the shit that's coming at me. Yeah! Spawn's like, you can't do anything against me, devil or god above. When I have that move, I've never seen beyond redeem. Ah. It's fine. We're going to start right there. Watch. It's great. It really sucks to play this, and I mean that in a different way than you probably think. It sucks to play this because I feel like this could have been really good. Underrated SNES classic type thing, 16-bit classic, because there's a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of cool animations, but it's let down by some obvious flaws that we can see. Is this as good as, you know, any of uh, Capcom's arcade fighting games? Is it a little bit different? No, obviously not. Is it better than Wolverine Adamantium Rage? Probably. Is it better than the Hulk game? Probably. Is it better than, um, uh, God, the X-Men games? No. Oh my God, which way? Fuck. There, there's several paths here and I found all of the wrong ones. The Amazing Mason Maze! The Amazing Mason Maze! Get lost today! I think I came from up here, and it might have gone down here. No, this has already been here. Okay, this is something. Yeah, it doesn't say a lot for the combat, like th what what the enemies can do and how you engage with them, that I just want to kind of get through it. Like, I, I almost have more moves than I really need, if that makes any sense. Low on health, too. Uh, some secret areas would be nice. Power-ups. There's no pickups, I just realized. Like, we don't get more health. There must be a healing spell. Or, like, what would Spawn eat? Hamburgers, I guess? I don't... This this is a good uh, shoulder barge. Enjoying this right now. Look at my running animations. Great. Probably going to use a frame of this to make the thumbnail. Ooh, now what? Time to meet your maker, Kincaid. Violator, what are you doing here? Sorry, I, can't, I, can't, I do a very bad Keith David, so I'm not even going to try. I can't thank you enough for the snack spawn. Don't know why I'm... <laughs> Uh, these cons are the best eats I've had in a long time. Oh, it's the violated girly man. Oh, oh, I've already found a loop. Uh. I'm not going to be the killer. I want to victimize him. I want to victimize all the violators. Violators! Oh, see, that's what I get. That's what I get for not sliding. At least Redeemer had something going on. But you think for Violator just being locked in a room and that's kind of it. Another time, Spawn, another time. <laughs> All right, back to you. Guess what, murderer? Only our art of evil can serve as a gateway to the Dark Lands. Yours is the perfect candidate. Prepare to pay your debt to society, Kincaid. What are we doing? What's happening? I hope this hurts. Okay, what? What's the Palantir doing here? Mad one? Who? You, the minions of Malbogia are no match for me. Uh, no one can defeat Malbogia but me. Is a Castle Grayskull in the background? That looks so cheesy. Yeah, Spawn and the Demons had an incredible game by Capcom, like for multiplayer purposes. But like, I really wish they could have made a 16-bit Spawn beat him up. Imagine you could take Spawn and Angela and do like a two-player thing like that. Like they team up, like they have to. Oh, that'd be so sick. Like, I wish we were living in this world. Instead of getting, like, you know, Spawn the Eternal, you know, we could have gone, like, this is fine as it is. I'm, I'm glad it exists, but it just makes you, uh, this game, I'm getting big, uh, Demon's Crest vibes from this section. I'll tell you that for free. Uh, if you were to tell me, oh, there's a hell level in this game, I never would have thought. Do you know why? Because I just kind of resigned myself to thinking, oh, it's just alleyways and rooftops and warehouses. Like, you never go anywhere really crazy. So I'm glad that this kind of exists. There's angry fires that are like attacking me, but then there's smaller, chiller environmental fires that are just kind of past like that one. So the the different flora and fauna 
of hell is very diverse. Oh my god. Like, it's still, I still want to be a fly on the wall about the conversation Namco had with Todd McFarlane. About, like, we need Spawn in, in Soul Calibur. In, in circa 2002. And <laughs> Todd McFarlane's like, really? <laughs> Are you sure? And he milked that shit for all it was worth. He was like, you gotta give me a game then? You have to give me my own game, publish my own game. You have to let me design a character exclusively. Ow! Uh, for Soul Calibur 2 as well? Didn't he make little miniature uh, Tom McFarlane toys? Uh, McFarlane toys? Yeah, and he made like a Mitsurugi and Ivy and like I want to say an Astaroth? Something like that. I think that was part of the deal. Oh my god, how does this actually work? I'm not sure if this comes in the video, but once I get up here, I'm like locked from jumping for like two seconds. Oh, got it. Thank God. Sorry, I'm really hesitant about doing this jump. I don't want to get all, all the way up there and then fall down. It was hard enough getting on these two things. I just I just got to do it. Just got to do it. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. But I'm sure in another year, two years. Whoa. What the? Cool. That's neat. Oh, no. All right, I'll put, I'll put myself here. How far does that extend? That's a crazy uh, ability. So that's what I'm saying. This game's got shit. It's got some interesting things in it. Or if even this got mods, like uh, a fan hack, I could see some things being improved with a fan hack. I, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I looked to see if such a thing existed, and nope. Oh my, get away! No! Do I need to defeat every enemy? Some sometimes you're locked in. You gotta kill everybody, and other times, I'm not sure. Here, you didn't need to. So fuck me, I guess. Now what? Oh! An angry flame monster. Oh, is it get rid of the little baby flames? While somehow not getting hit by all the flames? Those flames I can not get hit by. They're, they're, they're angry enemy flames. But these other ones I gotta knock out? Yeah, those, those, are, those are bad. Why can't I attack the flame directly, is my question. I'm totally hot. All right, so we'll just do this the long, slow way for everyone at home. <laughs> and, and just this flame is just here, too. It's like, maybe it could be a manifestation of Malbogia's face. No, it's just Fry Guy from Super Mario Brothers 2. Fry Guy was cool, man. Just, just like mischievous flame boy. Love that little dude. All right, we're doing it slowly but surely. And it seems like there's a special combination uh, of hitting. If I hit two flames at once, it automatically starts the next phase, the next cycle. I'm not sure why that is, but... Spawn, if you just had a bucket of water, we could have done that a lot faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spawn! Okay, so now it's just we're fighting inside Malbogia's asshole. There's spiders now. No, I think I'm good. Looks kind of neat, but I'm not sure if I can do a whole other level of Todd McFarlane's Spawn, the video game featuring Super Nintendo. I think we're good on today for Spawn goodness. It's okayness. Certainly better than the Eternal, but that's no, you know, great thing. Uh, but do let me know what you thought about in the comments. Uh, if you'd like me to play any other Spawn titles. I think I played them all now. Except the Game Boy Color game. Or let me know what year you think the Spawn movie will come out. In one year, two years, five years, or never. I'm going with the latter, personally. <laughs>